Hey guys, Josh and Dewey from Fit and Furious here. We're going to react to this gym situation here. This video is called Gym Kickout. Now, do you think that's referring to his form, like he's kicking out his ass? He's practicing kickouts? Mm, I'm going to say no. Is that the kind of lift he's doing, a kickout? You should stop. I think that's a bike move. <laughs> I think that's a BMX move. Isn't that it? When you kick your back tire kick out. out. Yeah, remember the endo? Oh, yeah. Those were cool. I have many of concussions from failed endos. Now, now, when you're looking at this guy, do you notice anything cool? Nope. Or bitchy? Is He's or, got bitch mittens and straps, so already I two strikes against me. And three? That was something cool. He's got mittens on. Nope. I like that. Nope, that's not He's cool. protecting his guitar playing hands. Opposite. <laughs> it's opposite day. Well, and, look, he, and his feet are like like he's at a, in the military at attention. It should be at least shoulder width apart. Well, or at least, you know, directly under him. Okay, you may not like this guy now, but let's see if we still like him after uh, we watch him deadlift. I don't know anything about him. A few him. times here. Okay. okay. I, I don't mind that right there because that's his cue to, to set his back. Yep. And his back is. Pretty, it's like when MLB players go up and, and grab their sack. No. They love grabbing their sack. It's and not at all. The, they tap the bat on their shoes. It's not at all. What he's doing is he's cueing himself to make sure that his posterior chain and everything is set. I'd still grab my sack if I was him. Okay. I mean, you want to look cool when you're there, too. It's adjust your cup, by the way. <laughs> Nobody's just <laughs> touching themselves to touch themselves. Okay, so he's so far so good. He's, you know, he's lifting. Oh, here comes. Here comes somebody. He's making a beeline, so I don't know what it is. He's beelining, yep. So, yeah. Well, he's giving him the, the cut it out. He's giving him the cut it out. Ooh. Motherfucker. You, you fucking. You his, fucking kicked the bar. His lifting strap came loose and snapped him right in the balls. <laughs> he kicked Ouch. the bar well in mid deadlift with, dick. with straps on. Tell, what, what could that. I mean, how many different joints could that yeah, destroy? Could it, or did, tendons? Could that. Rip? Pulled something out of joint? I mean. But it, at the very least, your fingers, even but, if it was no straps. Holy fuck, man. But why is he mad? Was well, it, you know what it is? He, he's kicking him up because he's wearing gloves. <laughs> well, well, that may be valid. I think it's because he's, whoa, whoa. he's, no, I owe him an apology. He's kicking him out. He's not wearing gloves. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. They're just straps. You're, oh, he just said you're ego lifting. Ego lifting? Your ego lifting. Holy fuck. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm wait <laughs> you just can't sound that mad when you're when you're My name's Aaron Swenson. I'm a when you have a French accent, right? <laughs> you just right. you just don't sound that mad. Right, right. You have to be smarmy. <laughs> Without <laughs> Oh, I'm matter. telling you right now, get the fuck out of my gym. <laughs> it just doesn't sound as tough. Nope. But now, okay, so he's mad because he was dropping weights, basically. And he's e well, he, ego lifting. Ego lifting, meaning he's lifting more than he should. He's not. And he's just not. Because he can't set it down. He's not lowering the weight. He can't set it, it might down be, gently. That might be what he wanted to do. And that, to me, that's not that bad. No. I and it's not ego lifting. I he's, po he's performing the lift. Right. He gets a little out there. He lets the bar get a little bit away from Let's see the guy behind. Oh, is that the right. snitch? That's a snitch right there. He was like, "Oh, oh and this no, guy's going to act extra tough off. in front of." That pisses me off, though. No matter what someone does, unless they're about to, you know, kick a baby or something, you don't go over there and and kick the bar down. I mean, no matter what so, they're doing, you don't do that. So here's my response: besides a ten pound plate up the side of his head mm -hmm. as hard as I can, yep, and I'd say, "Your ego bleeding." <laughs> I would have went over there and I would have said... Your ego decapitated. <laughs> when he said, your ego lifting, and I would have went, and? What am I doing wrong? Right. I'm ego... What does that mean? I was think, he well, yelling? Was he shouting, look at me, when he got to the top? <laughs> I'm a stud. It's Everybody ego lifting. What does out. that mean? He's lifting it. Like, just to show off. Is that what that means? Versus actually... But he lifted it and he locked out at the top. Right. He, did. he wasn't cheating the rep. Yeah, he wasn't doing it just for show. He even had little pads on the floor. Right. Because he didn't want to interrupt people. Yeah, what more do you want, dude? 
Like, how is this guy supposed to deadlift? I mean, is he saying you're supposed to gently set it down? It's like, well, but if it's if it's at the top of your max weight range, that's going to be tough, right? Dude, when I deadlift, I drop from the top. No matter I what. I don't even bear it. Yeah, like this. Just like, phew, even if it's right. light. Like, I ghost it. I just let it go. Okay. Because my blow back gets shitty when I'm on the... Con- so you're trying to conserve the... Yeah. Okay. Right. So what a freaking cock, man. So, um, yeah, I would have... Kicks the bar down like a total deer out. I'm, I'm amazed these guys didn't come to blows after he pushed them like that. Look at... I mean, yeah, this guy's a little bit bigger than, than the lifter. Who cares? But still. But still. Look at that. I mean, once you got once your hands on him like that, how do you not... Once your hands on me, I own your gym. <laughs> right. I'm and weenie. weenie. Yeah, what, shut up, you And it's on film. French douche. He's going to get fucking sued. God, that's so annoying. But... Well... That was, yeah, that was super annoying. What's the moral of the story? Don't be a dick yeah, just, when you're at the gym. Have you ever had anybody confront, your, confront you when you've been doing manly stuff and ego, ego lifting? Every time I lift is ego lifting. <laughs> I don't even know well, what that means. When you're especially, when you're especially grunty. We just come over here lifting all that weight, ego lifting. <laughs> what? I, I don't. Well, how about when you're like just dropping it and. And going, I fucking rule. Everybody here sucks. You know, no, but nothing. Was it true? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's not how, ego about, Have you ever had the urge to confront anyone that was doing anything wrong? Never. Shitty. Nope. No. All right. Nope. Dewey, perfect human. I give him stink eye. You see, that's about you, it. I'm a passive aggressive just, Minnesotan. We don't say anything. You just let the rage simmer and yeah. turn into turn into stomach cancer in about twenty years. No, I just <laughs> let the rage simmer and then I. Take it out on people who say you can be fat and healthy. <laughs> or channel into the next set, right? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. That was us reacting to the gym kickout. Don't be a douche in the Jimmy Gym. We'll see you next time.